Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. This one I'm going to be starting in the air, just above the Opera House, or heading towards the Opera House. This is another air tractor. I have already got the one that takes off on the land. This is obviously the amphibious one. It's a fire boss. So I've already got the fire tanker. I'm going to give this one a quick try. Now this one does have some issues taking off from the ground, even though it does have wheels underneath. And you can do that. So let's give this a go. No gauges came in, no matter how much I uh, tried. They are a cute little plane. Some great uh, buttons and stuff here. Okay, let's put my own throttle amount there, thank you. Uh, look very well modelled. It would be nice when we are able to press the buttons again, because a lot of these used to be pressable, but they're not anymore. Let's have a look outside. Got some noise to it. Now, I don't remember if it was one that I had to, uh... Well, we are going way too fast here. Oh, there we go. Change the propeller pitch. I'm not sure if it's one I had to, uh... Change the sounds for or not. Uh, if you don't get any sounds, you may need to get it out of another aircraft. We'll give this a fly. Now, being amphibious, you have to turn off, uh, crash detection on, uh... Well, I'll go back around the other side of harbour, there's more room there. Do have to turn off crash detection for modded in aircraft. Let's see if we can get those uh, rudders down. Yep, control W, your rudders will go down. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, shipping container and cargo. Yeah, not usually there. Let's see if we can bring this down. There's a very nice aircraft, there's several liveries. Uh, not overly fast. You can see there the red line being 160. Let's see if we can't bring this down smoothly, not nose dive. And I'm going to have to test to find out if it actually does take off again. I can't remember. So give that a test. Nice, I've got shadow right above. That's, that helps. It's quite uh, smooth to fly, so that's good. All right, we are down. Thank you. Flaps up. Now, rudders down. Power in the water. Do I steer? Well, it looks like it wants to turn it. It's a lot more than uh, I think the Grum and Goose that uh, I've done, or some of the other amphibious I've tried. I don't think we have an air brake or spoilers at all. And let's see if we can take off again before we end up over at uh, Manly Beach, straight ahead there. All right, that's just controlling it with no throttle, but with the propeller pitch. So there seems to be a issue with that. Full throttle, no throttle, doesn't do anything. So it seems to be controlled with the propeller pitch. And we better put some flaps on if we want to take off. Water we'll rudders up. Yeah, we'll get that right. Yeah, it, yeah, pulls out of the water quite easy and steers in the water. So, unlike some of the uh, other aircraft I have tried as amphibious uh, aircraft, they struggled when you're in the water. But it seems to be a propeller pitch is where it controls it. Luckily, I've got a uh, dial that I can use to do that. So if I'm to push to 100% and bring back my throttle. I'm 100% throttle, sorry, and I'm 50, 60% propeller pitch, so... Some sort of coding needs to be changed for this to work properly. Maybe why it has trouble on the uh, runway as well. Nice aircraft. Issues with it. This is an FSX. Uh, in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen these before, these are not mods that I've created. I am porting in FSX aircraft. Gauges don't all come in though, unfortunately. A bit of a shame. I think I tried several times. I've got several aircraft that look like this inside. But, uh, yeah, they didn't uh, come over on this. So I'm going to leave this video here nice and short. A display to see that it actually does take off and land. 
like comment and subscribe are down out below on the subscribe button hit that bell notification if you want to see when new videos come out we go land near the opera house other than that have a great day cheers